Hi, and welcome to lesson 2 on HTML and CSS. In case you missed lesson 1, all the code you see you can find at www.tomakewebsite.com. First of all, we'll take a look at lesson 1. Here we created a very simple web page where we had a heading, some text inside some paragraphs, and some just text getting all its attributes from the body style within our CSS. Now in lesson two, what we want to do is to create two new sections on the page. The first is going to be the container, which is where everything is going to be contained. And the second one is a header, where we're going to have up the top of the, the page, and then everything's going to come underneath it. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just go to our web page here, and we'll grab all our HTML, and we'll paste that over what we had from lesson one in index.html and we'll save that. We'll go back to the page, we'll grab all our CSS, again we'll just copy over what we had there and then we'll save that. Here in our index.html you'll see the familiar things from lesson 1, HTML tag, head tag, our title tag, our reference to our style.css, our body tag, and then you'll see a few new things here. Div ID equals container, div ID equals header, and back to the familiar heading, some paragraphs, and some general text. This div is just telling the HTML to create a new section on the page. By going ID equals container, we're telling this division to use our style.css, and in particular the container section, to define what's going to look like inside that division. So we'll just go over to our style.css. Here you'll see the familiar body tag again with its set attributes. Go down to the bottom, you'll see our paragraph with its text color, font, and some padding. Our heading, with again with our font, padding, and text color. In the middle here, you'll see a hash container and then a hash header. We use the hash so that we can use it as a division. And what we've done here, for the container, we've got margin-left and margin-right both set to auto. What this will do is center the entire section, so no matter how big or small you make the page, this section will sit right in the middle. Then we've got the width tag, telling it how wide it is, set to pixels. We've got a height, we've got a background color, again some text color, and we've set a border of thick, lime, and dotted. This is just to demonstrate where it is and how it looks. We've then got our header, which again has a width, which we've made smaller than the width of the container because it's going to sit inside. A height, and we've made it a thick blue dotted border. Now let's go and take a look at what it looks like. Here, you'll see the green border around the outside. This is our container. Its width of 830 and height of 780. Inside here we've got the header section and then below it but contained within the container is our heading, our paragraph and our text. As you'll see here the general text is now contained within the division so it takes the attributes of this over the body. So here it now has a background color of this, a color of this, rather than a background color from the body. Come back in lesson three and you'll learn some more all about HTML and CSS.